Hello everyone and happy holidays. Welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for this inner child Christmas gift of magic. So this is a general tarot reading meant for everyone. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you. So first we'll get into the inner child tarot deck to see what inner child wants to come out and then we'll get into some oracle cards these are giant cards <laughs> Okay, well, this card wanted to jump out. We want two more cards. There are two more that want to jump out. Okay, this one. One more. And that one. Okay, we start with, oh, I love it. Santa Claus, the guide of crystals. This is the king of pentacles. He is the bringer of gifts. I think that card kind of speaks for itself. Everyone is familiar with Santa Claus. And here we have the earth child with the world. Yes, bringing the gift of love. Because the child has unconditional love and forgiveness. And also this time of year is when the sun god is born or Jesus. There are many stories that evolve around um, because we experience the longest night on winter solstice. And then after that, the days start getting longer. That's why it's the birth of the sun. And then we have the eight of wands. Beautiful. The eight of wands is um, this illumination. The eight of wands is also a quick messages, messages and communications that come to you quickly, inspiration, passion. Uh, this is also the gathering of friends because when there is a campfire, it draws and attracts people to that light, that warmth. And this is a gathering of warmth, of passion that is coming from this earth child and the gift of Santa Claus. I'm so happy he showed up in this reading. Let's get into the Yule Oracle. And see what messages are here for you. the wise men with number 42 if it wasn't for the familiar songs that echo through my spine I would have lost what is lost and never found my purpose okay I love it the wise man and Santa Claus here because you know Santa Claus is a wise soul old Saint Nick um, and perhaps he, one of the gifts that he is bringing to you is your purpose. Through the gifts that you receive, you may find your purpose. Okay, and next we have chills with number five. Upon my flesh within thy bones quivers a crawling frozen in numbness. Shall I ignore? Or shall I bestow it? A frozen knowing looks back at thy soul. 
Okay. I get the feeling that some of you are remembering your purpose of your soul. Looking back, what is it that you kept coming to time and time again that you were always accomplished in? That you felt good when you were doing it, it felt right. And sometimes you get that chill of knowing, that tingle in the back of your neck or going down your spine or up your spine or chills on your arms when you get the goosebumps when you sense something. And then mistletoe with number 22, what dreams may come from the borrowing of ivy held tight within the womb. A calling in of sorts, a spell from above. Holy Holly. Okay, this, perhaps for some of you, this gathering of friends with the Eight of Wands, the communications, the sending of Christmas cards, um, letting people know that you're thinking of them, sharing that light. And for some of you, this could be um, finding out that you are pregnant or you're going to share that knowledge. For others, this could be the birthing of a project, something that gives you chills of thrills. This is a chill that is thrilling. Okay, let's... Let's go in with some magical spell cards. Okay, oh, I love it. Dream sweet, sleep deep. Sleep that's deep and last till morn. Wondrous dreams for the days reborn. And Santa knows when you're sleeping and when you're awake. I love it. And then we have divine guidance. Yeah, those chills. Whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. All right. Let's go in a little bit deeper with some clarifying tarot cards. To see if there are any further messages for you. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. This is someone who knows their purpose. I love it that she came up with the wise men. This is someone who creates. This is feminine energy. She's very bold and she's manifesting her dreams through divine guidance. Okay, the king of swords, which is an air sign, which uh, complements uh, this fire sign and brings breath to it. Oh, there's a card hiding here. Okay, so there's some equality, some balancing of your creativity. You have the Two of Swords here, which brings you to the crossroads. Do you make that choice to follow your true purpose, to follow your sweet dream? Santa is bringing you that gift. And telling you to go for it. Okay, now with this earth child and the chills. Okay, we have one with the ace of pentacles. Nice. This is the manifestation, the accomplishment that you want to bring forth into the world. This is what you came here to do. This can also be um, getting the financial resources that you need, 
to begin on this journey. Nine of Swords, you are experiencing some anxiety about this because it is something that is so new and you feel like you're blindfolded and you're just going at a flip of a coin and you are just being haunted by your doubts and fears. These could also be other people who are saying, oh, you can't do that. But right here we have, shall I ignore or shall I bestow? You are here to deliver your purpose. And look with the Four of Pentacles. You have your creature comforts. You have a foundation. Here you started with the One of Pentacles and now you have a foundation to go forward on. And then with the Eight of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the perfect time, the time is now, knowing when to pick the fruit, when it is ripe, when it is just right. This is also contemplation and thinking and also unknowing. Okay, and then you have the Five of Wands. Okay, this is not everybody's going to get a long. And uh, what you can do about that, because I know that sometimes I hear this all the time. Oh, the family's coming together. Oh, it's just too much. I can't wait for them to leave. It was great to visit with them, but now I can't wait for them to just all go home. Um, I hear that so often. Um, you know, and people get so stressed out. And here we have that Nine of Swords. Stay strong in your own space. And here you have the Eight of Swords. Sometimes you just have to recognize that certain situations might be too much for you. And it might be time to, you know, no, I'm not going to that Christmas party. Uh, last year it was too much for me. It became too stressful and I didn't have anywhere to go. I felt like a cat in the tree. Um, I'm sure some of you have experienced those situations. And with the Eight of Wands, it's asking you to only gather with those that you love. You don't have to accept every invitation. Not every invitation is right for you. And you might be more comfortable just chilling at home and just enjoying uh, Christmas, a quiet Christmas. Okay, let your divine guides guide you. They are whispering to you. They're bringing guidance through light. All right, let's conclude your reading with a sweet dreams card. Since your dream is sweet with sleep deep. Welcome. When I dream, I invite limitless magic into my life and I welcome my spirit guides to show up in wondrous and unexpected ways. Well, here they are. They are here for you and they are all around you. They are coming to you in your dreams. And when you feel those chills, know they are near. Okay, I'm going to end the reading here. I hope that you enjoyed this Christmas gift of magic with the inner child. So happy holidays, everyone. And until next time, take care.